Waxahachie south of Dallas, about 30 miles. Uh, it's a town known for uh, cotton farming back in the day. Kind of the land of cattle, definitely a lot of, a lot of beef down here. Texas is definitely where beef is king and, and we're right in the heart of it. So I'm Matt Pittman, Meat Church Barbecue from Waxahachie, Texas. Waxahachie, by the way, Indian for a really good barbecue. My whole style is, is Central Texas. Really simplistic, generally salt and pepper, cooked with post oak, nothing too fancy. Let the meat kind of speak for itself. It's really important to know where your meat comes from because all good food starts with amazing ingredients. If you don't start with a good product, you're not going to end with a good product. I want to go in there and I want to get a man steak. I want like a two, two and a half inch thick cut that's been aged. Something that you just can't go get at the grocery store. So I've been cooking all my life and uh, my passion for cooking came from my uh, family. You know, I don't know how much of the actual techniques from what I learned uh, growing up translates to barbecue other than attention to detail, you know, and making sure you put your heart and soul into what you're cooking. The thing that made me fall for barbecue was undoubtedly a bite of a beef rib. And you've got the salt and pepper on top, melded with that fat. I think that one bite of barbecue can't be beat. Taught barbecue around the country and even internationally, and I think all these different countries in the world want to emulate American barbecue, especially Texas barbecue. These people never lose focus. It's crazy. Eight in the morning, you know, eight at night, and I'm not having to work to keep their attention. When I teach, my approach is I'm going to tell you about competition barbecue, I'm going to tell you about restaurant barbecue, and I'm going to tell you about backyard barbecue. But I try to take all that knowledge and convey it to my students so they can kind of pick and choose what aspects they want to make great barbecue at home. You'll see how pretty this chicken looks. So it's sitting in all of this butter. So you could use, you know, use this syringe if you want, or you can use a basting brush. The Meat Church brand is, I think, very unique. I'm not trying to be anybody else. I'm not trying to be this restaurant. I'm not trying to be this pro competition guy. I'm not trying to be just a seasoning guy. We offer a really wide range of services from barbecue products we sell to personality through teaching and education, and that appears to resonate with people. It just takes one bite of uh, Central Texas salt and pepper barbecue to just say, whoa, you know, I want to do that. But my cook style is really straightforward, maybe considered simplistic. It's wood meat fire. And, you know, I came from kind of a Kamado background and have transitioned into pellets. And the thing about pellet cooking, it's 100% wood. The flavor's amazing. The first time I got a Traeger, the first thing I did was cook a brisket. Naturally, that's what you do in Texas. I cut it open, saw the smoke ring, saw how juicy it appeared, and then when I went to check the tenderness, it just popped apart. I was like, whoa. But I truly think Texas barbecue is the best barbecue, the hardest to master. Uh, and I think, you know, that's why when I, I took that one bite of a beef rib, I was like, dang, I really want to, I really want to emulate this. Good well, to meet right. you. There you go. Sign an autograph. Yeah, there you go. Big time.